Hello everyone, and welcome back to some Farming Simulator 22. What a lovely view. And you might be wondering where I am. Well, I'm at this castle, or this, well, kind of like an attraction place. And the reason I'm here is simply because this. I will take that. And that's all we're taking for today. Take one. Every few episodes it's okay to take one, I think. Like I said, I do want to get them all, so... The reason I got it... Is we're bringing our combine harvester... To the shop with the header. The reason we're bringing our harvester to the header is... This popped up in... The store, or the used vehicles, sorry. And I did say I wanted to upgrade, and I think we really do need an upgrade, and I know obviously if we buy this one, we're going to need a header. So, I also want to put on the Michelin tires, because it saves 2,000. Um, we don't have to have the white tires on it. We can put them on eventually, but we don't need them on right now. Uh, I think it's a fantastic upgrade to the farm. Uh, especially when it comes so cheap. Uh, it's kind of necessary. I'm presuming this will still fit on it. We need this for the sunflower harvest. So, what I'm going to do is, wrong vehicle, get into the combine, start the hub, and we're going to leave the header to one side, and we're going to set this guy off to head up to the shop, and yeah, when something like that comes up, it's kind of hard to resist. Um, I mean, we do need a bigger combine. There's not two ways about it at this stage. I know I said I wanted to buy a new field. Okay, this guy not go. AI worker F. Target is unreachable. Yeah, okay, I don't understand that. Is it because of something? Try it again. It's a bit glitchy this is now. I don't know why sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That one work. So here it is. Fantastic new combine. We do need to get rid of the header that we own. So I will just take this header off and put this header on instead and we'll bring it up. And then we can bring the new header down on this and drive the new combine back. Uh, it's on. Stick a ratchet strap or two on this because not the lights. We don't want it to go flying. Uh, kind of just a uh, impulsive buy, I know, and I don't know where. But look, when it comes up in the store like that, uh, it's kind of we need to take it, whether we like it or not. It is still August. Uh, I think that's the same in-game month as the previous episode. That will change. We are going to change to October. And we are going to pick up the straw. Maybe bale it. And in the barley field. And we're going to suck canola in that field. We want some canola for... The new oil mill that we got. So obviously all the sunflower seeds are going up to the oil mill. And so will the canola seeds. So... Or the canola. Whatever comes out of canola. Um, it's all going there to make the oil. And we're going to have to get sown in that field pretty much straight away. Because I think it's getting quite late in the year. So, yeah. Uh, 16,000 for that. Which is perfect. Um, and then I think we get 60,000 for the harvester. I believe it was 60,000. That was if we were selling it uh, from the yard. But if you, and you bring it over, you get like an extra couple of percent. So it might be even 61 or 2,000. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the percentage is if you bring it. I know you do get a larger sum, but it probably is an exact percentage. It's about time we upgrade. This is a fantastic combine for starting out. I do love it, but yeah, it's time for an upgrade. Well overdue. So we get 71! No way! That's a 10,000... It was 60 when I checked it from this from the yard. 
That's 11, nearly 12,000. Wow. It's so worth bringing a combine down. Or, well, not just a combine. It's so worth bringing something down. I think we really did value from that. So, we need to go get a header. We're probably going to need a trailer. Um, which we will have a look at. Uh, header trailers. So, yeah, there's loads of different ones. Like, so... Um... Go back for a minute and we'll get our header. These are the two I have in mind. Uh, 42 and 48,000. But this one is a metre bigger. It's eight and a half. So I think... For the sake of going for the bigger one. For the sake of a couple of grand. We might as well. We did upgrade the combine. So we might as well... Uh, yeah, we own that one. So that's the one we're at. We got, we got some saving. 265,000 for that new. And then... I mean... Is there a difference? Not really. Oh, that well, that has four wheels. This kind of has only three, so... We might need that because I don't think we can drive down... Uh, oh, no need for a spare wheel. Uh, we will need to drive... To field 34. Um... Buy that. We are going to need to drive to field 34 to harvest stuff. I know our farmyard is there, but that's a very long way on the road with that big header. It's so much bigger than the last one. You, you just can't drive that down the road, like. So I could actually send this guy back because we actually have our own trailer now. We won't need it for transporting headers. So I'll just spin him around, and he can head back. To the farmyard and you can just go there head off we are going to get into our new combine so we'll just uh, jump into this a new combine uh, this is a unit compared to our old one He is back at the farm, which is great. We will just throw this on the new trailer. And we can leave it on the trailer now because we obviously don't need it. So, perfect. Yeah, you can see it jump there so it's locked on properly. This does have a hitch, I'm worried. Uh, some of the combines don't have a hitch. I think most of the bigger ones do. So, on those beacons, and let's get back to the yard. Back at the yard. Um, I actually think I know where I'm going to leave this because I don't like back and dolly trailers. They're so awkward to do. So, if I can just spin this here. Hopefully this works, the way I'm intending it to work. Can't see the beckon trees! Yeah, if we can just... Leave it somewhere like this, I don't really know. Let's look at it. Um, then we can just back this into the shed here. Where the other one was. I did just kind of shove that over there out of the way. So, we've, uh, that's that done. Thank God, that's great. Um, we do need to get the baler hooked up because we need to bail up all that straw. So, I'll attach the baler and jump over to field 41 and start baiting some of that straw. So I'm probably going to go with the biggest bale, as per usual. I think it's in, yeah, it's on the smallest one, you know, but we go with the biggest. <laughs> um, now obviously we can sell all these bales then because we do not need it. Um, 
I'll probably just bail it up and load them all up on the trailer and bring them straight off. I'm not doing what I done last time putting it in loft. That was horrendous. I'm never doing that again. So, without any further ado, let's get on with some bailing. We're getting there. We're almost done. Um, get nice, nice few bales out of the field, and they are, if you haven't noticed, eleven thousand liters each. Um, apart from that, very, very first one, um, which is over there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. That was the smallest bale, but the bales all seem to have different size, or the one size, like it's still a hundred and eighty centimeter bale, but there seems to be eleven thousand liters, whereas grass. The same 180 centimeter size bale only has seven and a half. This has 11 straw. Don't know what that is about. Maybe straw is obviously lighter, and you can pack more in, kind of. I don't really know. I'm not too sure what the what is behind it, but um, it's interesting to know that most of them are 11,000 liters bar one. And I doubt this one swat is going to give us another bale. Maybe it will. And. Yeah, get them all loaded onto the flatbed and uh, get them gone. It'll be the most of a bail, so whatever we bail next, there'll be quite literally a bail within the first few meters of a swath. Yeah. It's a pity we couldn't squeeze out one more bail. Oh. Anyway, that's it. Um, how many bales did we get from that actually? Uh, wrong one. We got 11. Not bad. Um, I've been playing this map for 32 hours. That's quite a lot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 11 bales. Nice. Nice. To think we got... Well, they're a lot bigger actually. I was just about to say we got 11 bales off that. And the little grass field we got 9 bales. But... Like I said, the uh, grass bales have a less... Um, I'm pretty sure I turned that off. Sorry. I actually meant to turn that off. So. Get this backed in and get the new telehandler. Be a good test for it. I'm glad we did get it now because we can zoom around the field a lot faster than the other one. 
Actually, we don't have any other electric vehicles, so we could um, demolish. Hey, wow, we have the electric telehandler for nearly two years. We bought that at the same time, so wow. Uh, yeah, we can sell that. Um, if we do happen to come across a electric vehicle in the future, um, it's not much to stick one down anyway, so. But, yeah, straight over and. I might skip to the next day because I didn't really. I forgot to actually do it. This is the same day as last episode. So I'll get everything set up. I'll get the bale. The bale trailer kind of on a level surface if I can. Somewhere here like that. Off. And um, yeah, I will just run across and sleep for the night. So they have loads of water. I will just have to check the sheep because and the chicken actually because they actually just do not want them to run out 300 litres of water uh, I might grab them some nice bit of wool nice bit of eggs um right I'll just go and fill these up with water quickly yep that's those full of water we'll just grab these while we're here Seems to be okay with one. Let's test two. I hope it can do two because it will be just so much faster. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, really have to try and get square with it. We got two up in the air. I don't know how unstable this thing is now, but anywho, this will take a while, so I might time lapse it and I might just cut it out. But I'll try and time lapse it because I do want to. I do want to use this, use it the proper way. I won't be doing any tomfoolery. It's so hard to uh, judge everything. Oh, you see that one stayed. I didn't want it to. shunt with this if we can. And go straight back. I don't know why it's lifting. Anywho, that's the best I can do. I'll pick up another two. These are a bit off, but I'm hoping they'll still go on. Oh. Nice. 
Might be the squarest, but they're on. They're on. I don't care. So four down. <laughs> Nine or seven to go. Nice. Nice. Hopefully everything else is over this side. I will leave that small one to last and probably just throw it up on top. Um. Right, we're down to one bail. I was using a bit of super strength there just to kind of shuffle them a bit, but I'm just, I want to get used to this telehandler, so I want to use it obviously, and it will take me just a while to get used to actually loading stuff with it. It is quite uh, awkward. So, I will hopefully um, get used to it at some stage where I won't have to be able to have, won't have to shuffle them around. Can go there. And uh, we can get this back up to the shed and get that straw sold immediately. Just want to check and see where the fast or the best um, prices for straw at the minute. I know it's not great either way, but yeah, the uh, livestock market usually is the best. So. We'll get this load over there and uh, get an extra few pounds. And whatever we get, we've 115,000 litres of straw. So if we get 10,000, I will clear 10,000 off the loan that we have um, that we took out for the oil mill. I do want to get rid of that. So if we get 10,000, I'll clear 10,000 off the loan and start making a payment on that and getting rid of it. Here we are, just pulling up to the livestock market. So, I am interested to see what we get, because it's a nice extra, oh, oops, <laughs> it's a nice extra income. Three of the straps, this should sell. Yeah, 13,000, nice. So, I will just pay, repay, Ten. So we still made three thousand off uh, off the straw, which I suppose isn't terrible. But the main thing is we got some of that loan down. Um, hopefully that will pay pay it for itself when we make some some flower oil. Hopefully. I actually do not believe it. I said I'd have another look at used vehicles and look what popped in. We literally bought one like three episodes ago or four episodes ago. Well, a few episodes ago. But we've paid full whack for it. That's a 55% discount. Wow. What are the chances like? It's just typical. Oh, well. What can you do? So I've had a little bit of a think and a look. The case header we have over there we got out a used machinery. Now, we are literally only after acquiring the new Holland Harvester at the start. And there's no dice uh, header, corn header. So you kind of have to use that Capello mat or make. And a Capello brand. And you have to... It's kind of like universal. But now that we have the new Holland, I was looking... The, this is the one we won, or well, got for very cheap, uh, we've owned. So it's six meters. We have a New Holland. They're the very same price. So we could just sell this and get this. And then we'd have a yellow, like a proper New Holland header for it. Um, since they're the same price, I don't see the problem in switching. Um, we do have 55,000, so we could uh, 53,000 for that and 63. And a half for this which is uh oh they're the same size well then no that doesn't matter i thought this one was a little bit bigger but for 10 grand we might as well obviously use the new holland one yeah it's these are bigger they're way more expensive so yeah no i thought that one was a bit bigger right i think what we should do is just uh get the new holland one get rid of this and get this and keep the same money that we have so that we don't lose any money 
and we don't gain any money from it either. So I will get that sorted and I will get the header, this header back down. Oh, I know what the difference of the 10,000 is. This one folds, has hinges. So you can bring it on the road. This one is one solid piece. You can't. Ah, I'm not too worried about it. It's uh, not for 10 grand. It's not worth it. We can just chuck it up on the flatbed trailer if needs be anyway. So yeah, I'm going to get that sorted and I will be back with you when that's done. I'm going to keep obviously the same money that I have. So 55,780 euro. And I'll just swap these out and keep the same money. So yeah, back in a sec. Yeah, so there it is, uh, the New Holland. So, yeah, all New Holland gear now. So it just makes a bit more sense. And obviously it's going to match in with the New Holland machine. But, uh, yeah. Park this up over here. I think the chickens are going to need a feed at the start of the next episode. So they are quite low. But yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, a bit of a short one, but... The next thing to do really is get that field mulched and stuff. So probably get a worker going in the next. Actually, how's our honey going? Oh, we have a full pallet. Just shunt that over there. And I believe that was the last uh, broken pallet. Yeah, it was. We've no more of these broken pallets, so they can uh, start spawning more pallets. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, so the next episode is going to be harvesting these savage sunflowers. I can't wait. I haven't done sunflowers in 22 yet, so... And I haven't done much of them in even the older ones. I've done them before, but not much, so... Really looking forward to doing that. Very excited. And I'm especially very excited to get all the seeds into the oil mill. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. And in the next episode, it'll be October, and we'll get that harvest underway. So if you like the farming videos, make sure you hit subscribe and like. And if there's any mods or anything like that along the lines, new maps coming out you want to see me play or you'd like to see reviewed or whatever, uh, leave it in the comments and uh, I'll chat to you guys in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.